Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Veteran Yuba actress who seems to be the oldest veteran alive cries today and shocks Nigerians with her energy as the Yuba veteran actress Tony Tomato surprises her for her 92nd birthday. The Yuba veteran actress Grace Onya Dejobi, popularly known as Yoshibu, who officially retired from acting when she clocked 90 years old. Received a surprise from a younger colleague, Tony Tomato, ahead of her 92nd birthday on 23rd of August 2021. Yao Shobi is the widow of the late Yuba actor Onyadi Jobi, who sadly died in the year 2000. And the veteran Yuba actress, Tony Adebola, who is popularly known as Ashewo Toremeka, shared a short clip of her surprise visit to the home of this veteran Yuba actress, which is at Oluyole in Ibadan, in Oyo State. And she serenaded this 92-year-old actress with the music and was dancing along and asked that God the celebrant overwhelmed with emotions. And also, the energetic dance steps of this 92 years old got Nigeria shocked as many were surprised with their outstanding strength at this age. And Tony Tomato also shared this short clip, made a comment and said, look at her dancing step at 92. God is good. This woman is not limpy. Neither does she look weak at such old age, 92 years old. And this veteran Yuba actress graced our television screens for 67 good years. And she even already attained fame before her appearance in the popular Yuba movie, Ero Yao Shubu. But then, Ero Yao Shubu movie also made her more known. And just last year, Yao Shubu made it to the news when she condemned the mode of dressing of many young actresses in the movie industry. And she also went on to urge the young actresses not to be deceived by the pleasures of the world, but to hold the belief that they can become successful through hard work and the grace of the Almighty. We also joining in to wish this veteran Yuba actress, who seems to be the oldest veteran that is alive in the Yuba movie industry, happy birthday. So happy birthday to Yao Shubu, Grace. Adijobi. And some people also pray for Tony Tomato as she has honored this woman that God would also honor her. For those who may ask, who is Yao Shubu? Please stay with us a short but interesting biography of this virtual Yuba actress. Her name is Grace Onya Adijobi, but then she's otherwise called Yao Shubu. She was born in Oshodo, part of Ocean State, in August. Her father was a contractor and he spoke many languages. He was an educated man. I wrote down all the birth dates of all his children. Her father had three wives. Her mother was a second wife. And her mother was a trader who bore her father five children. It's only three of them alive till today. For education, she attended All Saints School in Oshugu. In the past, education was important like it is today. But not all parents gave it much attention. Her parents were not so keen about it. So they were not worried when she dropped out of school at Standard 4. And she went to learn clothes designing. So when she completed learning, as an apprentice, she opened a tailoring shop and she employed some apprentices. The shop ran for some time before she closed it. And she decided to close the shop after five years because they were not making much profit. They could sew a woman's traditional attire for six shillings. The only thing was that the money had value back then. At the time, her mother had traveled to Ghana on a business trip and she was staying with her maternal grandmother. Her mother was out of the country, so it was not long then that she got married. For her personal life, her husband was a late theatre guru, Unia Dejobi. They both stayed in Oshodo and had known themselves for a long period of time before they finally got married. He was also the choir master at the Anglican Church in Oshodo. They both attended the same school and he was a senior by many years. They had known each other's parents even. It was not until their husband travelled to Lagos with his brother, who was a primate, that they learned many things about theater. He was good at playing piano while he was in Oshubu. They did not have any plan to get married at first when he was in Lagos, but it was when he returned back to Oshubu that he started an affair. They were close even when he traveled to Lagos State, but then when he came back, they continued their relationship. At that time, people used to make inquiries about the family of their spouse, their intending spouse. It is not like today that people just get married without making proper findings. So there was also an intermediary who served as a go between the lovers. They had one too. That's why the fact that her husband and herself had known each other for a very long time. Her husband was from a good family. Notwithstanding, he could not just jump at his proposal. They were not allowed to visit there will be husband's houses until the marriage rites were done. They also did not have a formal wedding ceremony, but the members of the two families met and they had the ceremony. It was a great thing. 
and she remembers it affectionately. And on how she started acting, it was in the show in the 1953. They had only two meals with them at the time, and they had done many shows in Jeb and Kwara State. Every festive period, they would travel around the country to perform. And they usually draw many crowds because a lot of people used to like when you did your this kind of performance. Theirs was the stage theater of excellence. Some of their plays then include Kuye, Paradise Lost, Uruguay de Diba, and so many others. And on if she exercises, yes, she does. She takes a walk around her compound. Her doctors told her that this is very good for an elderly person instead of just sitting idly. And on how she relaxes, she does have a siesta or read the Bible. She also enjoys church activities. On how she got the name Yoshibu, her husband used to run a television series called Kotu Ashipa. Ashipa's Court. The nickname came from there. Some people started calling that the name of the characters that played. At the beginning, this despians complained about that. And then the husband of this woman suggested that they should rather pick the names they would like to be called. So she chose Ladbenjo Yaoshubu. Karim Adebo chose Baba Wandi. Alabi Yelu chose Alabi Yelu. Even though she still acted in a number of films after the death of her husband, she could no longer act in cultural plays. And she rather chose gospel movies. And this veteran actress made it to the news today. The energetic dance steps of this 92 years old got Nigeria shocked. As many were surprised with their outstanding strength at this age. And Tony Tomato who also shared this short clip he made a comment and said, Look at her dancing step at 92. God is good. This woman is not limpy. Neither does she look weak at such old age, 92 years old. And this veteran Yuba actress graced our television screens for 67 good years. So this is the short but interesting biography of this veteran Yuba actor. Oye Grace Adejobi, who we popularly know as Yao Shubu. And we've come to the end of this episode, where Grace Oye Adejobi cries and gets emotional, and also shocks Nigerians with her energy at the age of 92. She was surprised by the Yoruba actress, Oye Adebola. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned to know two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content. And once again, happy 92nd birthday to this version of Yoruba actress, Yao Shubu.